Well, it happened again. Stormy Daniels quashed Donald Trump. The breaking defendant Trump news of the night is that Stormy Daniels has humiliated Donald Trump once again. And while she was at it, she humiliated his criminal defense lawyers. Tonight, Judge Juan Mershon granted Stormy Daniels' motion to quash a subpoena from Donald Trump demanding a vast range of information about the making of a documentary film titled Stormy. The judge denied the Trump motion, saying this request is overbroad, seeks general discovery, and is not limited to the subject matter of this case. Judge Mershon had already quashed a subpoena for essentially the same material from NBC Universal, the, the producer of the documentary. The ruling by Judge Mershon came at the end of a day that began with a hearing about the district attorney's claim that Donald Trump has violated a gag order that prohibits him from, among other things, saying anything about jurors in the case. Prosecutor Christopher Conroy told the judge about a social media post that we reported as breaking news on this program last week. And the prosecutor noted what I noticed about it when we reported it here, that Donald Trump presented it as a quote from Jesse Waters at Fox, but in fact, Donald Trump rewrote what Jesse Waters said and added to that so that it was not actually a quotation of someone else. The District Attorney Conroy, Conroy told the judge, quote, this is a very troubling post. At 5.46 p.m., the defendant published a post on his Truth Social account that stated they are catching undercover liberal activists lying to the judge in order to get on the Trump jury. That whole thing is in quotation marks. It's attributed to somebody named Jesse Waters. What Mr. Waters said was they are catching undercover liberal activists lying to the judge, period. So it is a hybrid of something somebody else said together with something the defendant apparently added on his own. I think the link to the jurors in this case, to this proceeding, I think it's very clearly a violation of your order of April 1st. Donald Trump's criminal defense lawyer, Todd Blanche, first tried to defend that post by Donald Trump by saying that it was a repost of what someone else wrote. But Judge Mershon would have none of that. Judge Mershon, it was posted on April 17th at 5.46 p.m., and it says, in quotes, they are catching undercover liberal activists lying to the judge in order to get on the Trump jury, closed quote. And then it's attributed to Jesse Waters. Is that, in fact, what Mr. Waters said? Mr. Blanche, he said, they are catching undercover liberal activists lying to the judge. And then not, at the time, I don't believe he said, in order to get on the Trump jury, Judge Mershon. So your client manipulated what was said and put it in quotes. Am I right, Mr. Blanche? I was, I wouldn't use the word manipulation, Your Honor, but the rest of the quote is not part of the quote. Judge Mershon, okay. My other question is, this is not a repost at all. Mr. Blanche, no. Judge Mershon, no. This is something that was said on TV, and your client had to type it out. He had to sit there, use the quotation marks, the shift key, and type everything out, and then add those additional words. So your argument that these are reposts, and therefore they are not a violation, that does not apply to exhibit number 10, is it? Mr. Blanche, number 10 is not a repost. Agreed. Judge Michonne, so what is your argument? as to Exhibit 10. Mr. Blanche, Judge, the argument as to Exhibit 10, it's ambiguous whether this statement violates the gag order. The gag order says Donald Trump is prohibited from making or directing others to make public statements about any prospective juror or any juror in this criminal proceeding. So Donald Trump cannot make any statement about a juror. No statement at all. That gag order wording could not be more clear. Donald Trump's criminal defense lawyer insulted the intelligence of the judge and everyone else in the courtroom when he then said, quote, President Trump is being careful with your honor's rules. And the judge interrupted, saying, you, Mr. Blanche, you are losing all credibility. I have to tell you that right now. You are losing 
all credibility with the court. Now, you can spend years in a courtroom and never hear a judge say anything like that to competent lawyers. Judge Mershon said that he would rule on Donald Trump's violations of the gag order at some point after today's court session. And after Donald Trump left the courthouse, he put in writing a lie that he said when he arrived at the courthouse today and he spoke to the reporters gathered before he entered the courtroom. The in writing version is more coherent than the loony version that Donald Trump said into the microphone this morning. So we will go with the written version at 4.35 p.m. today. Thousands of people were turned away from the courthouse in lower Manhattan by steel stanchions and police. That is an absolute lie. I have walked down there several times. Traffic is free flowing in and around the courthouse. Pedestrians, tra traffic is not hindered in any way. There was a large public gathering area in front of the courthouse where I saw exactly three Trump supporters gathered there yesterday. Early reports today said only one Trump supporter showed up, while the 85,000 Trump voters in Manhattan completely ignored what was happening at their local courthouse. Absolutely no one has been turned away anywhere in lower Manhattan. It is actually much easier to approach and stand outside and gaze at Trump's courthouse than it is to see the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree in December, where the crowds and police barricade, barricades do indeed actually restrict access. Vaughn Hilliard delivered today's best response to the Trump lie on Twitter, saying, Trump just claimed that the police have shut down the streets around the courthouse for blocks and that his protesters can't be here. Just not true. There is one pro-Trump person here and the main street along the courthouse is open to traffic. And Von Hilliard, of course, included this video in his Twitter post showing you just how easily vehicles move around and just how, how much of no one is actually there uh, in support of Donald Trump. The truth is Trump supporters do not care that Donald Trump is being prosecuted. They've made that very clear. He has begged them to show up, and they have refused. Yesterday, Donald Trump said, America-loving protesters, protesters should be allowed to protest at the front steps of courthouses all over the country. So there's Donald Trump summoning Trump supporters in Idaho to go to the courthouse in Boise and stage a big protest for him, or in North Dakota, or in Utah, or Alabama, or Texas, where somewhere where there's a vast majority of voters for Donald Trump, any courthouse in America, Florida, anywhere, and no one, no one anywhere in the country showed up at any courthouse to protest the criminal prosecution of Donald Trump. 74 million Trump voters said, absolutely no, we will not protest Donald Trump's criminal prosecution. We do not care. They aren't the only people who don't care. Donald Trump is the only criminal defendant I have ever seen who cannot round up a single family member to sit in the front row of the courtroom in support of criminal defendant Donald Trump. His third and current wife isn't there. Neither of his daughters are there. None of his sons are there. Not a single personal friend has showed up as a show of support for Donald Trump. Not one. Serial killer and sometimes cannibal Jeffrey Dahmer had his parents in the courtroom every single day of his criminal trial. Every day. Donald Trump has less familial support than Jeffrey Dahmer had in the courtroom.